kia ora. it's Ruth here in my garden in Christchurch and now it is one week on from the seed experiment I started last week. I planted some seeds here in one of my garden beds, I planted some back there in just some normal soil and these ones I planted and put them inside in trays to keep them warm. So I've actually been quite surprised one week on how it's gone so I'll show you what's happened. First I'll take you for a walk down here. Now you'll notice if you saw the last video that there's now eggshells around it and that is because while I had the bird netting I suddenly thought I didn't put anything out to protect against slugs and snails. Now I use eggshells because we eat lots of eggs but also it's a nice natural way to keep the snails and slugs away. What happens is they don't like to crawl over it so it stops them from going in. Um, I've got lost a few from watering so I need to put some more on and also the eggshells are just good for the soil as well so friendly to anything else not friendly to slugs and snails so beetroot there is nothing in here yet apart from one little tiny one here broccolini though this one has been a winner in this bed we've got quite a few that have popped up if I put my finger next to it you can kind of see the size they're nice and happy and a few more still coming up here there's a little seed about to come up and kale same as the beetroot nothing really happening yet there is a seed just down there that got uncovered when I was watering it and that one looks like it's about to pop up this one here not actually sure if it's a kale or a weed but I'll just leave it there for now so this is the first bed this is the one that is in my garden bed that has some of my other veggies if I take you for a walk over here, this is the one that's in the normal soil. Again, now I've got some bird netting over it because I suddenly thought, ah, they're going to pop up and the birds will get them. And I've put some eggshells around it too. So again, let's start with beetroot. Nothing much happening. Um, I haven't seen anything really stunning. Oh, actually, now that I look, there's a little bit of red down there. So we do have a beetroot coming up one week on. Kale. Nothing really going on here. There is something little there though. We'll see if that's a seed or a weed. And broccolini. Again, crowd favourite. There's some ones that I need to put some more soil on that are starting to sprout. So on the whole, this garden bed and that just kind of normal soil stock standard stuff hasn't done as well as the one that is in the actual garden mix um, soil. But if I take you around here, this is where the exciting stuff happens. I'll start with seed raising mix. We have got two kale that are up. They are looking pretty good and I can see there might be some other ones coming. Beetroot. You can see some little seeds that have popped up with their seed um, heads still on them. And broccolini. We've got two that are up. So on the whole, for the um, broccolini, actually being in the gardens worked better. But we've got kale and beetroot here that we didn't have other ones. If we go to the garden soil, which is the same as the garden bed where my other things are planted in, you can see that the kale again has come up quite nicely in both of those. So far, no, oh no, look, there is one little sneaky beetroot. And broccolini, we've got a few and a few more seeds popping up. If we go straight soil, look at this. So this is the straight soil. This is the same soil that is just there. Have a look. These guys, obviously I haven't been turning it enough. Broccolini, so happy with this. Beetroot, pretty happy as well. And kale, okay. But winner of the day, not expecting it. This one, soil and drainage. We've got some kale, some beetroot, and look how big these ones are. These broccolini actually started to pop up after just four days, which gobsmacked me. So, who would have thought? Soil with a bit of drainage, and this experiment has won. Um, seed raising mix, so-so. Straight soil, pretty good. And garden soil, okay as well. So these guys are going to go back inside, and next week I'll show you how they're going as well. Hopefully these ones will be a bit bigger and some more popped up and these ones as well. Now today was about 15 degrees at the warmest, tomorrow is supposedly 19 and then it's kind of fluctuating a bit, that's what spring is, but it should be getting warmer and warmer. So I'll do another check in next weekend to show you how these ones are going, they're going and how my indoor ones are too. I'm hoping that by next weekend all of them will have popped up quite nicely and 
to be honest they're looking a bit crowded so they might need to go on the ground a bit earlier than expected so thank you for watching if you want to check out what's happening next weekend make sure you subscribe otherwise we'll see you next time kakite